the appearance of Russia's Su-75 Checkmate has generated significant buzz across the global defense and aviation communities. Long anticipated and shrouded in secrecy, this single-engine stealth fighter jet represents Russia's ambitious attempt to compete in the international market for fifth-generation combat aircraft. Designed by Sukhoi, a subsidiary of the United Aircraft Corporation under Russia's state-owned Rostec, the Su-75 Checkmate is positioned as an affordable yet capable alternative to Western fighters like the American F-35. Lightning II, its debut marks a strategic move by Russia to capture market share in regions where budget, constraints and geopolitical alignments make Western options less accessible. At first glance, the Su-75 Checkmate exhibits a sleek, angular design that emphasizes low observability. The aircraft features canted vertical stabilizers, serrated engine exhaust nozzles and internal weapons bays, all hallmarks of modern stealth technology aimed at reducing radar cross-section. Unlike Russia's twin-engine Su-57, the Checkmate opts for a single-engine configuration which significantly lowers production and maintenance costs. This design choice also makes the aircraft lighter and potentially more agile, although it may come at the expense of range and redundancy in combat scenarios. The engine is believed to be a derivative of the AL-41F or a new power plant currently under development, possibly the Isdelie 30 which promises improved thrust and fuel efficiency. One of the most striking aspects of the Su-75 is its intended role as an export-oriented platform. Russia has explicitly stated that the Checkmate is being developed primarily for foreign customers, with nations like India, the United Arab Emirates, and several African and Southeast Asian countries reportedly showing interest. Priced at an estimated 25 to 30 million USD per unit, it undercuts the F-35's price tag, which can exceed 80 million USD depending on configuration and support packages. This affordability, combined with fewer political strings attached compared to Western deals, could make the Su-75 an attractive proposition for countries seeking to modernize their air forces without breaking the bank. In terms of avionics and sensor suite, the Su-75 is expected to incorporate advanced systems that rival those found on other fifth-generation fighters. It will likely feature an active electronically scanned array, AESA radar, capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously while maintaining a low probability of intercept. Infrared search and track, IRST systems, Electronic warfare suites and data link capabilities are also anticipated, enabling network-centric warfare and seamless integration into modern combat environments. The cockpit design emphasizes pilot situational awareness, with large touchscreen displays and helmet-mounted queuing systems that allow for off-boresight targeting. Armament options for the Su-75 are expected to be versatile. The internal weapons bay can reportedly carry a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions, including beyond-visual-range missiles like the R-77 or its newer variants, as well as precision-guided bombs. External hardpoints may be available for missions where stealth is less critical, allowing for increased payload capacity. This flexibility ensures that the aircraft can perform a wide range of roles, from air superiority and interception to ground attack and reconnaissance. However, the Su-75 faces considerable skepticism from defense analysts and potential buyers. Much of the information released so far has been based on mock-ups, promotional materials, and limited official statements rather than flight test data or operational deployment. Russia's track record with fifth-generation programs 
particularly the protracted development of the Su-57, raises questions about the Checkmate's timeline and actual capabilities. Delays in engine development, software integration, and stealth optimization could hinder its entry into service. Moreover, the ongoing conflict in Ukraine and resulting international sanctions have strained Russia's defense industry, potentially affecting the supply chain and export logistics for new platforms like the Su-75. Another point of contention is the aircraft's true stealth performance. While its external design suggests radar-absorbing features and shaping techniques, independent verification of its radar cross-section remains absent. Western analysts often argue that Russian stealth technology lags behind that of the United States, particularly in terms of material science and electronic signature management. Without access to real-world testing data, it is difficult to assess whether the Su-75 can genuinely evade modern air defense systems or hold its own against adversaries equipped with advanced sensors. Despite these uncertainties, the Su-75 Checkmate represents a bold step for Russia's aerospace sector. It signals a shift toward designing fighters that cater to the realities of the global arms market, where cost, ease of maintenance, and interoperability often outweigh cutting-edge performance. By offering a simplified single-engine platform that still incorporates fifth-generation features, Russia is attempting to carve out a niche that bridges the gap between fourth-generation legacy jets and prohibitively expensive stealth fighters. The aircraft's name, Checkmate, is itself a strategic statement. In chess, Checkmate ends the game decisively, and Russia appears to be positioning the Su-75 as a game-changing asset for its allies and partners. Whether this moniker proves prophetic or merely aspirational will depend on the jet's actual performance reliability, and ability to attract serious international buyers. Initial interest has been encouraging, with Russia claiming letters of intent from several countries. But translating interest into contracts requires more than just promises. It demands proven capability and consistent delivery. In conclusion, the emergence of the Su-75 Checkmate is a noteworthy development in the evolving landscape of military aviation. It reflects Russia's determination to remain a major player in the global defense industry despite economic and geopolitical headwinds. While questions about its technical maturity and operational readiness persist, the mere fact that Russia has unveiled a dedicated export stealth fighter underscores its long-term vision. As more details emerge and potential flight demonstrations take place, the world will be watching closely to see if the Su-75 can truly deliver on its promise, or if it remains a compelling concept constrained by practical limitations. For now, the checkmate has entered the board. But the 